We live in a time now where a lot of people, they don't know the truth. I was reading in Romans and Paul was basically saying he wasn't ashamed of Jesus Christ. He wasn't ashamed of the gospel. And you see, we got to be that same way when it comes to the word, when it comes to the things of God. Like, let me get this straight. You can cheer for your favorite football team. You can cheer for your favorite basketball team. You can, when your favorite artist come on the radio, you going crazy. But you telling me you can't be radical about the true living God? Think about it. When you have good news, the first thing you go do is tell somebody about it. And that's exactly what the gospel is. Literally, that is the definition. I don't know about you, but ain't nothing better than hearing that I was in sin and that somebody paid the price for me so that I don't have to reap the consequences of that. There's nothing better than knowing that the creator of this universe loves me and that he wants to have a relationship with me and that he's doing everything he can to have that relationship with me. There is nothing better than knowing that the God in heaven wants to have a personal relationship with me. And so the reason I said that is because there's somebody on this earth, there's somebody that you are around that has never heard that. The word says that if you are ashamed of him, he'll be ashamed of you. It tells us to go preach to every living creature, every living being. And look, it doesn't have to be a whole sermon prepared. All you got to do is just simply let somebody know what God is doing in your life. It could be the simple fact that, man, I was reading my Bible and God gave me this revelation. Man, I was praying and God just let me experience his presence in a new way. Tell him about the testimony, bro. Those are the best ways. See, a lot of times we like to make it over spiritual when it's just simply doing what God says. We like to come up with these philosophies, these tactics to how to draw people into Christ when all I got to do is just simply be a light. Bro, it could be something as simple as telling somebody that Jesus loves them. And that could change a person's life. But like I always say, this always goes back to relationship. Where is your heart at? Like the word says, many praise him with their lips, but their hearts are far from him. You can say you love God, but it's going to show. If I don't have a relationship with God, then I'm not going to tell people about him. If I don't spend time with God like I should, I'm not going to tell people about him. If I don't spend time in the word, I'm not going to be able to tell people what the word says. And so the whole point of this video is to tell somebody about Jesus. And if you don't know Jesus, he wants a relationship with you. All you got to do is open the door, open your heart to him. And when you open your heart, he'll come in and he'll make it his home. Stay blessed, stay safe. Love all y'all in the mighty name of Jesus and continue to fight the good fight of faith. In Jesus' name.